Hello everyone. Welcome to Interestry. Today we shall be discussing about Shakuni, popularly known as Shakuni Mama. He is one of the main characters of the epic tale of Mahabharata and is often considered to be the main instigator of Kurukshetra war. While modern culture including TV serials and online series depict him as a loving maternal uncle seeking justice for his nephew through nefarious deeds and schemes, the truth is different. And in this video, we shall try and understand Shakuni, who is often referred to as the personification of the Dwapar Yuga, as we know more about his birth, his life, and finally his demise. Shakuni, whose real name was Saubala, was the king of the kingdom of Gandhar and was the youngest son of Subala, who himself had hundred children. While Mahabharata states that Sakuni was angry at the marriage of his sister to the blind Hitrashtra and especially Bhishma Pitama, who he fed, forced the marriage upon his sister, other stories state that the Kuru kings of Hastinapur attacked and killed all the Gandharva clan but Sakuni and his sister Gandhari. Either event led Sakuni to swear vengeance against Bhishma Pitama and the Kuru clan, vowing that he shall destroy the Kuru ones himself. It is well known that Shakuni spent most of his time whispering sweet nothings and poison in Duryodhan and other Kauravas ears. Dusashan was also very affected by his maternal uncle's whispers. He was one of the main instigators of the early rivalry between the sons of Pandu and the sons of Dhritarashtra. It was Shakuni's idea that made the king Dhritarashtra give the wild and inhabitable half of the kingdom to the Pandavas. However, after seeing the splendor of Indraprastha, he instigated the infamous game of dice, where by using sorcery and illusions, he won every round. It is believed that his dices were made of the thigh bones of his father Subala, and that is why he always won. He won every round of that game, and slowly but surely robbed Pandavas of their property first, then their kingdom, then themselves, and finally even their wife's property. This led to the Chiraharan of Draupadi, which all but ensured a war between the two branches of Kuru line. He was also the one who suggested 12 years of Banbas and an extra year of Agyatwas on the Pandavas for the freedom at the end of the game. At the end of Chiraharan, Sahadev, the youngest Pandav, vowed to kill Sakuni, who was the main instigator of the game. Sakuni himself had two sons, Ulaka and Rikasur. Ulaka requested him to return to Gandhar before the start of the war. However, he stayed put, as he wanted to see the end of Kuru line himself. His first contribution to the war was tricking Nakul and Sahadev's maternal uncle Salya into following Duryodhan to war instead of his own nephews. He is also considered to have goaded the great warriors Dronacharya, Karna, Kripacharya, Aswatthama and others into wrongfully killing Abhimanyu, the son of Arjuna. On the 18th day or the last day of Kurukshetra war, both Nakula and Swadeva attacked Shakuni, Luka and the Gandhar army. While Bhim blocked the Kauravas from interfering, Sahadeva first killed Uluka and then killed Shakuni, thus completing his vow and bringing an end to Shakuni, who even after the great war couldn't get his vengeance as the Kuru line survived through the Pandavas. Modern day teleserials often portray Shakuni as the uncle seeking justice for his nephew and base entire series around him. He is thus one of the most famous characters of the tale of Mahabharata in modern times. The one good thing about Shakuni was despite all his hatred, he loved his sister dearly, and so he even has a temple in Pavitheswar, Kerala dedicated to him. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more religious mythology and Mahabharata stories. The information used in this video has been taken from various sources, be it the internet or books. It is as accurate as possible. Please drop a comment if you have any inquiry.